I'm Jenny Winter. I'm one of the internal medicine and pediatric docs here at Ford Healthcare, and um, I'm married to Mike Winter. Uh, I'm Michael Winter. Um, I'm a special ed um, paraprofessional at Lake Mills Elementary School. So we start recommending colonoscopies for patients at the age of 45 and up now if they're average risk. So a person is high risk for colon cancer if they have a first degree relative, so a sibling or a parent that has had colon cancer, um, or if they've previously had uh, colon polyps. Colon polyps are um, little growths of inside the colon, and these um, growths sometimes can be precancerous. Um, and so when we find them, when we go in and do the colonoscopy, um, if we find a polyp, they can take it out, and then it doesn't become cancer. So the colonoscopy really becomes sort of prevention of cancer. So if you're an average risk person, um, you need to have a colonoscopy every 10 years if your colonoscopy returned to normal. So my experience um, with my colonoscopy was um, my wife uh, suggested I should get it because I have turned 45 this year. The whole procedure itself took no time at all. I was in and out. and. Um, and they actually found two polyps, um, which could have turned to cancer, which could have saved my life, which I'm only 45, I have a lot to live, I mean, a lot of life is left in me, a lot of bike rides left, a lot of time with our kids, a lot of time with friends and family, and um, to know that that could have saved my life is kind of a big deal. The symptoms that would prompt someone to have colon cancer screening would be a change in bowel habits, um, blood in their stool, um, you know, Anemia, so if they have a lab test done and their iron counts or their blood counts are low, that would prompt us to want to um, look for reasons for that and that could prompt screening. I post a picture on Facebook like, yeah, get it done. And I've had people come up and talk to me about it because, yeah, it seems it's going up to you because something foreign, right? That's not, shouldn't be what that, so it just seems like and it's really not that big of a deal. And I feel like, um, you know, just and get it done, you know, and get it done, and get it done. An evening of just, um, where you got to stay home, saving your life is worth it, right? You know, so if you can spend an evening at home, do the prep, and have a, the screening, potentially save your life. And that's the part that gets me is just like, like I said, I got a lot of living to do still, because I'm only 45, I'm still young.